Hi, this is John Wilson. In this video, we are going to set up a surge test on the MTC2. So, as you can see here, we've already set up our resistance test, a mega ohm test, a stepped high pop test. Now we want to add a surge test. Now, what we have here connected to the MTC2 right now is a stator, and we'll use a surge comparison test to test that stator. So, to add a surge step to our test plan, we come down here, go to set values, the menu item, and then click the surge test button. There we go. Now what brings up next is the surge test setup screen. Uh, I'm just going to go to 2000 volts, and I'll tell you why. When we do a comparison test, we really don't need to ramp up from a low voltage to a high voltage. What matters is the uh, waveform at the final voltage, or at 2000 volts in this case, uh, between phase A and B, B and C, and C and A. And there's no need to start at a low value and ramp up. So there we've given our test voltage. I'm going to use an EAR as a way to measure the difference between those waveforms. And since this is a stator, I would expect a stator to have very similar waveforms. So I'm going to give it, uh, well, we'll say 5%, see how that works. Lower right hand corner, there's a button called connections, and that's where we will enter in uh, the connections for this particular test. So the first thing we're going to do is give it a name. We'll do it a surge compare listen, test. one to two to three. So key thing here, this button here is what we use to enable the comparison test mode. So when we do that, we will select lead one to two and then two to three and then three to one. We will auto scale and automatically control the voltage. There we go. I think we're done with that. And from this setup screen, which is different than the other screens on the MTC2, we can actually run the test here and verify that it's working. To do that, you just press the start button and you also have to have the foot switch depressed, which I've got uh, pressed on my foot here. We'll start. And it's figuring out scales, and we'll see the waveforms here in a moment. There we go. So there's three waveforms that you see there, and they're all on top of each other, which is what we would have expected. Now, in this case, uh, since it is a random wild motor, there is a slight difference in the waveforms, and you can see them with your eye here. So our 5% may not be such a good number here. Let's increase that to, say, 10% and try it again. There we go. There's our three pulses of the surge comparison test. We will exit this and we notice that our comparison test is in a different spot than we normally expect to see it um, from tradition here in the United States. In Europe, they like to do the resistance test, the surge test, and the mega ohm or high pot test. Uh, but we can still control this order. What we will do to change the order is we'll come down here to the menu item called define test sequence. Here we've got uh, test methods we can look at as well as the individual test steps that we can mess with. So looking at the test methods, what I'm going to do is remove the surge test from the sequence then add it back in at the bottom. And now we have what we're used to seeing here in the United States of resistance, mega ohm, and surge. So there we go. We have ourselves a, uh, a uh, surge comparison test. Uh, I will save these, this test plan, and we will run just this one step to see how it goes. Press 
press the go button. You can see in the lower left hand corner the search test is running and it was adjusting the test voltage since we said we wanted it to automatically regulate the voltage. And we've got a good pass here. So here we have a resistance test, a mega ohm test, a stepped high pot test, and a surge comparison test. Um, just to show you another feature of the MTC2, we can turn off individual test steps. Uh, let's say we just uh, have already done them or don't care to do that particular test. But right now, I'm going to turn off the, uh, the mega ohm test and the stepped high pot test just to demonstrate this feature. And we can uh, show you the uh, full test running. So here I'm going to disable the mega ohm test, as you see there. Notice it turned gray. Now I'm going to disable the step test. And you can see it also turned gray. I'm going to save those changes and run the test. I will test without order. I'll cover that uh, test without order and the work order scheme in another video. So we skipped our mega ohm and stepped high pot test and went right to the surge test. So there we have our complete, uh, well, other than taking out a couple test steps, we've completely run an automatic test. So there you have setting up a surge comparison test.